Hey, what's good, YouTube? Nate with Mass Collector back with another video. This is a mail day or a mail week video. A um, couple days, maybe a day late or so, just got backed up with stuff, doing things, getting my new studio area um, set up in my basement, which should be pretty close to being done here in the next, this weekend, hopefully. So I'll have new filming area and project area and things like that to do so that's that's cool i'm looking forward to that but so i got a lot of stuff stacking up on my desk here and uh, i figure i better do one before it gets out of hand so first off um if you're new to the channel if you guys uh would subscribe or think about subscribing i'd really appreciate that if you like the content um also like the video or dislike it whichever you prefer um, that all helps the algorithm in YouTube kind of help point people towards my channel a little bit and also hit that bell for notifications if you want to be notified when I drop new videos. But So we'll get going here. Um, I bought this <laughs> from a seller on eBay and the first thing I asked was, is this, a, is this, is this original or what? Um, because this was always the error card that you wanted to pull when I was a kid. You wanted to get the, the fuck face error card that says it on the end of Bill, Billy Ripken's bat, right? So, and they had a many error um, variations of this card because first they saw that and they're like, holy shit, we need to fix that. Um, then they're like, oh, let's just scribble it out and they did that, and then I was like, oh, how about we do a, uh, a black square, and they did that. And then the other one, I think, is a white square that they put over it. Um, I think the black one is the most common one. That's what they ended up with. I'm not sure where the, when the white one came out or the order which these things came out or were printed, but um, I saw these. I've always wanted to have one. Um, I asked the seller, you know, are these original or what? And he's like, oh yeah, for sure. He's like, I'll even send you a reprint, um, just so you can see the difference. So he sent me this reprint and there definitely is a difference. The, the reprint is pretty pixelated as far as the, 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 the quality goes. Um, he sent me a cup and then here's the one with the white scribble reprint on the back of that. But he sent me those, but it was cool. I just wanted to, to have the card, you know, would I, will I get it graded? I, I don't know. Looks like it's in pretty good condition, but I'm not really for the, it's just kind of having the variations. It's, it's kind of neat to see them all kind of lined up on this thing. So I picked that up, got that. Um, he also sent me two packs of Fleer baseball. So one wax pack and then one, um, cellophane fat pack that's got 36 cards in it so at some point we'll open this up with some other random shit i got but so that's billy ripkin actually i have this t-shirt with this card on the front that i'm wearing to my baseball draft tomorrow um march 27th tomorrow so we're doing that um okay uh the next thing baseball wise i got is i won this lot of 50 or 50 or 60 i can't remember um deon sanders rookie cards from 1990 upper deck on the picture they looked pretty good like i didn't think they were this off-centered however i won this auction for eight dollars plus shipping so i think it was like 16 dollars total if that um i got it in i looked at them every single one of these things is centered like this so they're all off that way, every single one of them. So whoever this guy was, obviously bought a bunch of boxes or a case of boxes um, and opened them all up and these were all cut the same. <laughs> so that's why he had another one for sale too for like 60 cards and I didn't win that bid, thank God, because I'm sure they were all just like this as well. That one ended up selling for like over 40 bucks, I think. So I'm glad I didn't get that one. This one here, I'm not too upset about. I mean, it was 16 bucks. I mean, I didn't expect them all to be perfect gem mints, but you know, this one's not too bad. 
but I figured there would be, you know, at least a couple in here that um, might get close to a 10, but not so much. They're all just kind of off-centered a little bit. So something to be aware of. If you see a big lot of multiples of cards, like 60 or 100 or 400 or whatever, uh, please know that those, those folks out there are definitely ripping open boxes and boxes and boxes and taking all the good ones out and just recouping their money from selling these big lots of cards. So buyer beware on that. Just a little tip that I've noticed in the last year buying cards off of eBay. Uh, next one here, I got some Kobe Bryant cards. Well, technically I got two Kobe Bryant cards. So these um, Superstar Summits, which they're actually in pretty good condition. I've been buying a lot of these really like these cards. Um, I bought a ton from ComC that you'll see coming up here, but this is my Kobe stack for today. I got these two. And then I also bought, I was looking around on eBay for just kind of weird stuff. And I, I found these magnets that came out in 1988. And um, I've been picking them up. I got a stack of them. So I think I got like 50 total. A lot of people are selling them in 12 pack packs because they cost what they kind of come in. Um, Bryant Pro Magnets, they come in 12 in a pack. So people are obviously have cases of these or something like that and they're selling them. But what I have found, and if you guys are looking for these two to get some, is that there is two, I don't know if they're variations, different print runs or what, but there are some with the purple, more of a purple border, like this. And there are some that have this bluish border like that. So the purple border on the right is definitely has more vibrant colors on it. Um, it's more detailed. It doesn't look like it's faded. Uh, so the purple ones are the ones that I'm kind of looking after now. If I get more, not sure. I don't know if it's a good idea to buy these things or not, but it's a, it's a 1998 Kobe Bryant type of card. So I thought, you know what? It's kind of neat. There's probably not a lot of these graded. I did see one graded at PSA and somebody was asking like an ungodly amount for it. Cause it's probably the only one, but um, if I look for more, I'm definitely looking for the purple borders because this blue border um, color it looks just kind of like it's on the end of the print run or faded or something. So just something to be aware of if you're looking for these cards. Look for the purple, um, more of the purple tone color because those look pretty good. Um, the blue ones start to get that faded look to it. So just a heads up on that. Got those, and then for more basketball, um, I have a stack of these uh, Summit cards. So I got some Chris Weber, Ray Allen, uh, Kevin Garnett. These are all from the year 2000, I believe. Yeah, 2001, 2002, Upper Deck. Uh, Kevin Garnett. Um, AI, Allen Iverson, Tim Duncan, I got a bunch of his, uh, Vince Carter, and then I got another Michael Jordan, which is really nice condition. And then this one actually wasn't a lot of these other Jordan cards. So this is like a SP, he's back card, upper deck, um, this 3, 3D jam card was in there. Uh, this one here, Jordan collection, upper deck, collector's choice card. And then I bought this one separate. This one's really cool. Um, this Jordan Fleer Platinum Wizards card. I just like the, the retro look to it, so I picked that up. It's pretty sweet. Then I saw this thing on eBay. So it's a GMA five grade. And from on the picture, when I was looking at it, 
I'm like, it's perfectly centered. It looks really, really good. You know, even on the back, like the tops and the sides, there's no white showing, no white edges or anything. And then it came in and then I noticed that the whole top of this border, it looks like it was like tried to get clipped or it got a dull blade on it and got it more pushed over, bent over than anything. And um, that's what made the grade so poor on this thing. I was hoping there was some sort of other issue that wasn't so noticeable. And when I looked at the picture again, after I got this, um, it did have this on there, but it didn't look that bad. I thought maybe it was just like the edge fuzz type of thing, but so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I'm not going to send it back. It's just kind of, you know, it's one of my favorite cards of Jordan. This was just because it was the first year that I really started collecting. And, um, you know, the first Jordan card that I probably pulled was this one ever. So, uh, it's got special meaning to me, so it's not the card that I specifically pulled, but it's the card. And um, the ones that I did pull are at going to be at PSA at some point. So that's what I got there for Jordan cards. Um, and then I got some Christian Wood stack. Not a whole lot of crazy stuff. Um, Christian Wood, I got a Blue Border Hoops. I have the purple blast. This one here is like a hollow. Um, it is a eight out of 199 numbered. This one here is a teal border. It's not a hollow or anything, but it's numbered out of 70. And this one here is an artist proof um, hollow uh, numbered out of 25. So 15 out of 25 on that one. Looks good, looks good. Um, here is a uh, certified red. And then I got some Hoops Premium. So I got a, a silver, uh, laser silver, a scope silver. One, two, three, four, five, six, six Pulsar prisms. Oops. Uh, two greens. Uh, purple disco and then I picked up another gold cracked ice which is three out of ten so I saw this for sale I'd snagged it right away out of ten so I actually have two of these now so I have 20 percent of them um, that's for the Christian wood pile and then I kind of break into my Devin Funches spree that I've still been working on um, just picking up cheap cards. Um, here is his Topps Chrome. Here's a mini, like a Pulsar Prism type of thing, Topps Chrome, and it is numbered 22 out of 25. Uh, here is the regular sized, numbered out of 50, number 30 out of 50, Pulsar Prism. Uh, here is a Topps Finest die cut, rookie, hollow, silver, Refractor. This is a, just a regular tops pink border. It is numbered out of like $4.99. But I think I bought this by mistake. I thought it was a tops chrome. Didn't look at it close enough. Um, and then tops chrome, I bought this whole stack from a seller. He had um, these four for sale and he had five different sets of them. So I bought them all. And they're not bad. I mean, I don't think they're in, they're like in perfect, perfect condition, but from what I've seen, they look pretty good. So I'm not gonna be too worried about it. Just nice having different colors and stuff like that. And then I got some Prism. So I got the regular Prism Rookie. I got three silver Prisms. I got a red uh, Mojo. This one's numbered out of 99. Um, this one here is just a regular Prism uh, sticker auto for that one. This one here is the silver. I have, well, here's another one of the just regular Prisms. This one here is the silver. These are all sticker autos. It's out of 150. 
Um, the Mojo Sticker Auto, red, out of 75, serial number. And then we got some Topps Chrome. Uh, I got a purple, which is not numbered. You know, two of these blue diamond ones, which are numbered, I think they're numbered. Maybe they're not. No, they're not. Just regular refractors. Uh, a blue, this one should be, yeah, this is out of two, 199. This is actually 199 out of 199. That's cool. For that one. Uh, here's a SEPA refractor. This is out of 99. And then we get into the autos. Here is a pink. Uh, out of 75. This is on card auto. On card auto uh, camouflage. This is out of 99. Here is a uh, on card contenders. Uh, it is not numbered. Here is a contenders hollow foil out of 99. On card auto. Here's a uh, Cracked Ice out of 23 on card contenders. And then another one, to number 23 out of 23 on card. And then I got this Top's Finest on card um, refractor. It's out of 30, number four out of 30. And then the last stuff I have here today, um, these would be the Devin Funches graded cards that I picked up. So I got a Gem Mint, uh, Topps Chrome, uh, Gem Mint 10 Standing, Pose Gold Refractor. Uh, this one is numbered out of 50. And here's another one. Number 10, Jim and 10 out of 50. Here's a uh, BGS 9.5 SEPA refractor. Uh, this is out of 99. Here is a on card auto blue refractor. It's a 10 autograph, uh, 9.5 Gem Mint card. And this is out of 50 as well. And this one here is a black refractor on card auto with a 10 for the autograph grade and 9.5 gem mint for the card. And this one here is numbered out of 25. So that's what I got today. A little bit longer than usual for the mail days, but I had a big stack of stuff. And I also wanted to talk about these Kobe Bryant cards and how there's two different colors so something to watch for if you're if you're looking at getting those um also talk about the big Deion sanders stack that is just you know big stacks watch out so uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, please make sure you subscribe if you're if you're enjoying the content like the video with a thumbs up and hit the bell for notifications when new videos are dropped and we'll see you in the next video thanks guys later